Hi everyone, this is Whitehawk and today I will be playing Octavia in the Underworld Cello. Or isn't it supposed to be Octavia, Octavia's Underworld Cello? Well apparently when you actually play the game it's in the Underworld Cello. And, and now it's just the Underworld Cello. <laughs> uh, being a bit confusing with the title of the game right here, Hero of Time 1000. Anyway, let's just play a new game. I've already tried this before, just to test it out. And I do have a game saved, but uh, let's see the intro movie here. And I won't speak to while we're playing the intro movie because there's going to be voice. Thanks to shenanigans. Somewhere at the edge of the ever-free forest. How much longer, Vinyl? My hooves are killing me. Just a bit further. You ready to party down with every pony? Not exactly. I would much rather be composing another piece at home, instead of trudging around in a forest filled with bugs and dangerous creatures. Don't be such a stick in the mud, Octavia. There's plenty of them in that puddle over there. <laughs> you didn't get my joke? Because cause there's the puddle, and then the... I'm sure you got it. I can't believe that the mayor would be... brash enough to hold a party in the middle of nowhere. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Having a nightmare night party in the middle of the woods sounds awesome! If anything, the wild animals will be stoked that I'm bringing some mad beats for them. Well, it's just that... What? What's up? We've been walking for a while now, and I can't help but wonder. We wouldn't happen to be lost now, would we? Not a chance. The directions on the invitation were super clear. Besides, you are traveling with an expert navigational list. That's not a word, Vinyl. Whoa, I'm getting wicked flashbacks of my old English teacher. You sound just like her. Either way, I can't help but question the path we're taking. I swear I've seen that one mud puddle full of sticks before. Maybe you've been looking in a mirror. <laughs> see, see what I did there? I, I brought back the old joke. Meanwhile, at the other end of the forest... Hey, Caramel, what's swinging? Nothing much, but uh, ain't we missing a couple of ponies? It's still early. The ladies will be hopping in any time now and then. I hope they ain't lost. The force is a mighty big place. Relax. I wrote down the directions and their invitations myself. There's no way they can. What? Dag blast it. Who put you in charge of the invitations? The mayor did. What about it? Do you remember when we went to that one restaurant that one time? Oh, I sure do. A bit stiff for my usual fare, but the waitresses were easy on the eyes. Right. But what I'm saying is, you got up to find the cult room, and it took you 20 minutes to find it. And when you did find it, it took you 20 more minutes to find your way back to the table. What's your point? I'm saying you can't navigate your way out of an empty barn with glowing signs pulling to the exit, let alone write directions on how to get here. Hey, it's cool, buddy. I made sure I was doing it right. Every pony else made you hear it, didn't they? Besides, there's only one mansion at the edge of the forest. They can't miss it. <sighs> I suppose. See? Now well, let's go mingle. Don't worry. They're fine. See, here we are. I told you I wouldn't get us lost. Well, I suppose congratulations are in order. You've successfully led us safely to our destination without getting us hopelessly lost or eaten by wild beasts. I have, however, one more concern. And what would that be? Why is the mansion emitting an eerie green glow? Oh, sweet! They must have installed lighting effects! This is gonna be kicking! Vinyl, I hear some sort of spooky noises. Uh, yeah, it's it's a nightmare night party, after all. It's awful creepy. They really outdid themselves on the decorations, huh? Well, it's been a great night and ever so much fun, and I'm so glad I came. But I think it's time for me to get go. Aw, oh, come on, Tavy. You promised that you were gonna try to have fun and that we'd have a good time. You're not gonna leave me hanging, are you? No, uh, of course not. Then open the door and let's get this party started! Oh, why do I always get dragged into these situations? What I wouldn't give for a lovely cup of Earl Grey right now. 
All right, finally starting to play. So you both arrive. Oh, damn it! The, the text to auto scrolls. Anyway, you need vacuum cleaner. Relaine is Octavia, obviously. We've got our portrait right up here, which is a nice touch. All the action, quote unquote, happens on the left screen here. And well, these other things right here, we're gonna find out about those later. Uh, I would, Hero of Time 1000, if it's possible, make it so that uh, the text only skips when you decide for it to skip, like when you click. Because that way uh, the player could control the pace of uh, the action, how things happen, basically. Uh, right click changes uh, the hoof cursor to the look cursor and that's rather important final DJ pawn three tolerate her wash dishes huh fancy door can we look at the glasses no yeah there's gonna be lots of the uh, little things that the uh, I've been added to this game because it, it's a uh, probably Hero Times 1000's favorite type of game, the uh, old-fashioned adventure type of game where you play as a character and you you have a cursor and you control that character with that, and you're, there's tons of stuff to look at everywhere and uh, artists, sprite and other various things like this. I was actually trying to boop you, Vinyl, but uh, whatever. Let's go here. The key under the mat, of course. And I have to take it. So basically, this is a small intro, in a sense, you know, to, to get you uh, used to, like, how the game works, uh, like. Then again, I would appreciate if uh, right uh, the game told you about right-clicking. There is a how to play in the uh, zip file that uh, comes with the game, though. So we could use that. But this mini intro, it's, it's good, too. It does explain quite a bit of uh, what you're supposed to do to be able to go along the place. Also, um... <laughs> Clicking does accelerate the text, sorry, but I would appreciate it if uh, the text only accelerated uh, or skipped uh, when you actually, like, uh, clicked it and not auto-scrolling after the dialogue, quote-unquote, is done. Anyway. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, th this is a little bit too much here. Trying to make me do this just to really be uh, doing so much interactions. Okay, going inside. Unusually empty, you don't say. Uh, I, I don't really have much time to voice the characters, and they're, they're going to be voiced partially anyway, so... And not to mention the text is going a bit too quickly, so there would be no time for me to actually speak for myself. Yep, that's what happens at the beginning. Panic time. Yeah, there's lots of little animations uh, for Octavia's portrait, which is really, really nice. It's uh, It uh, actually really helps like uh, bring up the atmosphere and uh, try to in like introduce the player as Octavia. Because it's a mansion, a haunted mansion, Octavia. You keep tell yourself? Well, there are some grammatical errors in the text to dialogue because uh, this is a demo. Pro I think it is the latest demo, but it's possible uh, Hero of Time 1000. He's been working on several months on a new demo potentially or something like that. So a lot of my feedback here may not apply anymore. Uh, uh, I, I guess I'll mention it later on when it's the end. I was about to ask something for Hero of Time 1000. I should probably really uh, send him a, like a, an email about it, but uh, instead uh, Let's just go look here. Oh, noise. Uh, right. Let's go left. Check this thing out. Look at it. <laughs> I have to take it up. Enjoy your meal, my son. Mom. Very interested, huh, Octavia? You don't, you don't really know anything about these haunted games, do you? And for some reason, uh, Octavia puked, even though horses aren't supposed to be, uh, supposed to be able to do that. Although, uh, the show does do, do, do that at some point. I mean, I, the game technically still hasn't started, by the way. We're still in, like, the intro. 
Bisky, you're still being introduced to the fact that this is a real, really haunted mansion. And teens are very dangerous here. Next to go, huh? We probably are. The next to go to join the army of the dead that, uh, of this mansion, that is. The hell? Flashbacks? Already? This never happened, did it? I can't remember. Uh, it was probably a neutro, actually. Yep, that's that's Octavia's purpose in this uh, game, to find vinyl. Uh, more on that later. It is a demo after all. The intro, I feel the intro is a bit long. Even though I could probably skip all this text, the intro feels a bit long. Just because of how much text you have to go through. Unlike other adventure games, you cannot save at any time. You'll find a way to save your game soon enough. But this is placed here so you don't have to replay the intro scene over and over again. Would you like to save? Uh, well, I technically already... Uh huh? Huh. Well, I better make an emergency save anyway. <laughs> I, I remember I had a save, but apparently it's not there anymore. Anyway, we're finally starting to play now. So basically, this uh, menu right here, that's what you use to go in different places. It's rather important. Anyway, first things first. Complaint. So, we've got this lifeless head, there's nothing that indicates that this head could ever, ever move, and there's this key right there that uh, is, is quite shiny, and you think, wow, I, I might actually need this key, like, I, you don't, I don't actually know that I need this key right now, but uh, you might be curious and decide to pick it up. So we reach out to get the key, and then the lifeless head comes to life. Uh, what? what? Why does it do that? I, I don't get it. What, what, uh, there, there is no indication that his head could immediately come to life. Massive amount of pain. Your will continues to fade as well. And here we go. And then it's game over. Uh, apparently, uh, we, we take many lives and uh, we eventually die before the morning sun rises. Something like that. Anyway, this was basically me complaining about probably the earliest type of death you can get in this game actually trying to take the key from the head, the lifeless head that has no indication of it being able to move. I know there's some like uh, people who might say, well, it's kind of obvious the head would move, but no, there's no indication for it. Anyway, now what I'm going to do is go all the way over here and we see a timber wolf. Oh no, it's a timber wolf. Luckily, it's still sleeping, but wrong, wrong move can spell disaster. So, there's this little object here, and you want to get it, and there's this timber wolf right there that will easily kill you if you do try to do something. It's a shiny key. Needless to say, we want it. Yeah, we obviously want a key in an adventure game. So we try to pick it up, and then the timber wolf wakes up. But you get a chance to run away. See, this is like a instant death bullcrap done right. There is actual indicators that you're going to die very quickly, if you don't uh, handle the situation uh, like uh, intelligently. Here, this lifeless head just comes randomly to life as soon as you try to pick up the key. I don't like that. I feel it's something that shouldn't have been done. Anyway, enough about complaining. Now we actually have to solve the mystery around this house. No dust? How strange. The whole house is covered in it. And there I go, just voicing Octavia when I really shouldn't. Uh, one more thing. This meter right here, 25 minutes, instant game over. We start in green, and I believe there are some uh, things that can like increase the meter with a uh, little warning. And this menu right here is your items. You can't carry very many many items, by the way. So I said this meter can be increased. Here's one uh, way you can increase it with random ghosts. See, increased. At least it didn't kill me instantly, though. Lock tight, it won't open. And okay, uh, another thing I would better show right now. You probably want to look more often than touch in this game. Because if you look, you're well, you're likely not going to die instantly. But if you want to do some stuff, you have to use the hoof icon. A gas lamp. Door with a gold plated. Actually, this is where we're supposed to go. And of course, vinyl is down there. 
Uh, we can inch a bit closer. And then the game tells us if we want to inch even closer. And I'm betting there's an instant debt if you try to do that. At least there is a warning, quote unquote. Like the, the game tells you, do you want to inch a bit closer? Because that's some of the things you want to do about warnings. And that's a pretty nifty image to increase the atmosphere. I mean, look look at this. This uh, image of the dad is all uh, scratched out. So that, that tells history, story about the game, background story. It adds to the mystery. It's great. I might be talking a bit too much right now, but there's lots I want to explain about this game. And technically I've already played it, so I know what to do. Oh, I took an item right here. It's a... Uh, some type of a... Uh, item that Octavia explained in like the two seconds she said right down there. <laughs> I know what to do with it, more importantly, to be honest. Okay, kitchen drawer. Curses. This drawer won't open all the way out. Maybe if I fool hard enough, I can force it open. Well, we can try. Force it open. And it didn't kill me instantly, surprisingly enough. But, uh, we can't actually open it all the way through. Of course, the game says we can do more force, but, uh, you can see here that there's some sharp objects there, so that's probably not a good idea. Can leave this thing as is. Uh, some objects uh, you can't really interact with, so I'm like I keep pressing this uh, light bulb here, which is supposed to do something, but it's not doing anything, so I'm just gonna ignore that for now. And there's a burning pot right here. Pot of spaghetti sauce. Maybe I can use this uh, spatula to do something with it. I'm not even going to try. She doesn't even want to try. Uh, actually, that's the default uh, response for trying to use an object without actually using it properly. And now we can use this thing. This frying pan. It's going to be... Actually, we already got two items that are quite important for us to use. Approaching the dumbwaiter. Yep. There's a bunch of voices. But most importantly, it's uh, Vinyl's voice that we can hear. I don't know why Octavia has so much uh, concern for Vinyl right now. She she, she was acting pretty uh, like uh, melancholy with her in the intro. But all of a sudden, she's really really she cares about her a lot. I mean, Vinyl, your magnificent pony, really? Uh, that's kind of inconsistent with the Octavia's behavior, I feel. I, I do like, kind of like the uh, small icon here. It is sort of kind of cute. Although, it, it, it kind of breaks the immersion, I think. Because we don't really need this icon to know that it's Vinyl uh, talking to us from down there. No, actually, no. What I wanted to say is that it could add to the suspense if we could, didn't see this icon because that means we won't actually know if it's vinyl we're talking to or not because this is supposed to be a horror game a horror adventure game adding mystery and confusion to the uh, atmosphere really improves like the horror aspect or at least the atmosphere aspect just uh, showing everything to the player and knowing making like telling them that uh, they're on the right path I, I feel that's not uh, something that really improves the genre we need to leave the haunted house. I don't get why Vinyl's been like this. You'd think she'd be uh, a lot more concerned uh, after having fallen all the way down there. Yeah, I don't... I... Why was it one of their own band members? I don't get that. I know who it is. I think it's Frederick. The pony that was uh, had a disembodied head. I, I don't... I would wish it was a no C, honestly. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll explain all this uh, stuff I'm sort of kind of trying to inch towards to uh, later on at the end of this video. For now, I just want to play the game and show what I know about it. Of course, the fear meter doesn't actually increase while you're doing the uh, cutscenes like this, quote unquote. So we can sp speak to vinyl as much as you want. Although I feel it would add to the atmosphere, the fear meter actually did increase while we were talking to uh, 
ponies like this. It, it would probably make things a bit too gamey though, because you'd skip the text all the time and just uh, look at the information that you need. So it's really 50-50 in terms of like, which uh, would improve the design. You either want this aspect that uh, makes the player uh, feel comfortable when uh, in cutscenes like this and able to get as much information as they want, or you want to get the horror aspect where you actually have to buy, not, not buy your time, but really uh, use your time responsibly and not spend too much of it just uh, rambling with the people, <laughs> or ponies rather. Well, no, no wonder. The door out of here, up here, is uh, locked too, Vinyl. Uh, I might be skipping the text a bit too quickly, but uh, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to play this game. Also, hmm, the fear meter did increase. Huh, maybe it does increase during the cutscenes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That'd be concerning. Uh, also, well, that's pretty much it for this area. Anyway, uh, we can combine items together. This is how we do it. And if you guys watched uh, the episode where the Timberwolves were introduced, uh, Family Appreciation Day. Oop. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be dangerous. Oh my goodness. This... So the Timberwolf is actually awake and I have to like uh, bother it. I might have to restart the video if I die to this. Alright you beast, have some of this! Yep. We got the key automatically and uh, now the Timberwolf is gone. Uh, well, the Timberwolf is actually still there. If you go back there, the Timberwolf will be waiting for you. And uh, if you only have one of the items, the spatula or the frying pan, you'll scare the Timberwolf, but not enough to actually make it like uh, uh, get the key. So I did show a bit too much, I feel. It's locked tight. Is this the key? Nope. Yes, I can. I, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. I don't know if you can do anything with this. Also, there's a, there's a drawer right here. I, I think you're supposed to do something with it. I, I don't know, though. There's a candlestick right there. We can pick it up, but uh, I don't think I will. Don't want to take the silver or napkin? Huh. Okay. Strange. I thought we were supposed to pick one of these items, but uh, they may not be necessary. Now we've got a spider web up here. Nothing interesting. Not gonna touch it. Can't go upstairs. Probably need a candle or some sort of fire to take care of that. Now we've got lamp oil! <laughs> and we've got also a stain that we can potentially open with this. Yes! I feel uh, I feel that every time you solve a puzzle, the fear meter should probably uh, like uh, amnesia. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Gonna take a wrench. Gonna take this stain, this oil, which we are gonna fill the uh, can in it. And now, I don't think you're supposed to get anything else from this. Nope. Okay. Uh, I f think we can get the key with the wrench. Nah, we cannot. That's not the item we're supposed to use. Uh, well, I guess I can try. That did nothing. Nope, that did nothing. We don't want to get in a place uh, where we uh, miss out on this special item anyway. Because we need that lamp oil for a very specific reason. Yep. Now we've got a bunch of sharp knives. And we are going to pick up the useful one. Ah, this this is what we need. The tongs. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need. No. So now we go back here. We use the tongs. Now, for some reason, the, the lifeless head won't actually bite us when we pick the key with the tongs for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, video game logic. But all the more reason why I feel this isn't good design. This lifeless head that will uh, uh, come to life uh, if you try to pick it up with your hoof. But not with the tongs for some reason. And 
that's pretty much it. We solved everything. Upon opening the door, a warm and inviting light spills out, combating against the dreary darkness. The ghostly voices that whisper in your ear begin to become silent as you look inside the room. It's beautiful! Waste no time stepping inside! Demo over! <laughs> well done on making it this far. This is the end of the demo. If you like what you saw and want to help out, contact me at MarioBud at Gmail. I'm okay with graphics and coding for the moment. I just need talented musicians and voice actors. There are plenty of roles to fill, and vinyl is the biggest one to cover. Huh. Why vinyl? Isn't, isn't this Octavia's game? Well, I've gone this far. Time for me to address my complaints. I, there's plenty of other stuff I could have shown, like uh, the multiple death scenes, but uh, but that's not my thing, honestly. I, I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who just goes out of his way to show all the different deaths, unless it's like uh, deaths that you can that feel rewarding, you know? There's nothing rewarding about waiting 25 minutes to die automatically. Anyway, time for my complaints. Well, mostly complaint. I have praises too, mind you all, I, and I do like the game so far, but. I have one major issue. See, the game's called Octavia in the Underworld Cello, or something like that. Uh, and personally, I think, whoa, a game all about Octavia? Can't wait to see what she has to do with the Underworld and the Cello and all that other stuff and blah 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 blah. You know, I get excited to see what the purpose of Octavia is in this game. Especially because this is an adventure game, a genre where a video gaming that relies a great deal on storytelling, be it through atmosphere or dialogue or whatever. And we don't get that here. The intro shows us the opposite. Octavia is only at the Haunted Mansion because she decided to join Vinyl to a Nightmare Night party for some unexplained reason. She has no purpose to be there other than being Vinyl's girlfriend. Yeah, I, I know. It's probably not supposed to be romantic, just friendship, but I, I don't really care. The Octavia Vinyl duo the Phantom has fallen in love with is terrible for me. And it starts because I like Octavia, but I feel indifferent to Vinyl. The way these two are commonly portrayed, Vinyl is the outgoing party animal who loves her job, while Octavia is a submissive wreck who laments her situation over and over. She's incapable of speaking up to her inconsiderate roommate about how her own talent is going to waste because of Vinyl's uh, behavior. And if that bothers the writer, no problem, just make Octavia Vinyl's girlfriend, put in final dis financial distress to explain why she doesn't simply move out, something like that. Something to hand wave away the fact Octavia is not actually with, you know, the ponies she's been shown to work with on the show. Beauty Brass? Frederick? Oh, who cares about those ugly ungulates? Vinyl's my favorite pony, and she needs a roommate lover worthy of her. I exaggerated, yes, but that's what the introduction is implying to me. It's hard to get into a main character's head when she's supposed to be a pin cushion to her friend's behavior. Know what I thought the intro should have been? Octavia has a scheduled concert. Her performance at the co that concert could potentially make or break her career. While practicing, her instrument breaks, or she finds it too worn down for the concert. So she, she searches the library for something and finds that there is a legendary instrument capable of playing the best music of all time, or something of that effect. However, the instrument is lost inside a haunted location where many have already lost their lives. But Octavia is willing to risk it all to be able to get the very best instrument of all for the concert. This theoretical intro opens so many windows of opportunity when it comes to the story just because of what it specifically tells and doesn't tell us. Suddenly, Octavia has a purpose, courage, and will, all for her own dreams. Suddenly, an actual reason for our time limit. She has to get back in time for the concert. Multiple endings. She gets stuck inside the mansion and might only escape with her life, not the instrument. Or she might not be get back in time for the concert. Plot twist. The instrument itself is haunted. Or it doesn't exist. You know, the you are the best at your own thing type of shtick. Loneliness. Horror works better when the protagonist doesn't have any safe zones, such as friends or rooms with somewhat middle conly teams. Or a gun. Not only that, but any character or sentient thing you meet has to be judged whether or not to be trustworthy, instead of just having a friend that we are told, well, is our friend. Plus, the intro would likely not drag on so much, like that party cutscene did. And, well, both Vinyl and that one pony, I think Blues, uh, they wouldn't look as dumb as that cutscene kind of portrayed them to be. I mean, seriously. Uh, all somewhat cliched reasons, yes, my theoretical intro, but that's because if exe executed well, the end result could be fantastic. But 
Well, Hero of Time 1000 mentioned at the end there that vinyl is going to need lots of voice lines. I'm mean, guessing removing it from the plot would take, well, well, you basically have to start all over. <laughs> okay, so here's my reasonable suggestion instead. Adjust Octavia's personality. Make her actually have some animosity to vinyl. Side ulterior motives for her to go to the party, such as someone potentially important to her showing up there. Have Octavia and Vinyl warm up to each other instead of already being best buds. Give her purpose, goals, so that at the end of the game, it will be her wit and strengths that came through for her. Make this Octavia's game and story. Not Vinyl's YOLO adventure of madness with special guest Octavia as the one who happens to fix all the problems. And that's my one complaint. Pretty big rant I did right there. Sorry if it bothers some of you, but uh, it's how I feel like. I want this to be Octavia's game. Anyway, some praises. I like the graphics a lot. I, I really like the spritey look like. I like the interface. And I, I feel the music is pretty good so far, even though uh, Hero of Time 1000 wants some help on that. Hint, hint. Uh, link in the description if you guys want to try this out yourselves. It's a demo, not complete. And yeah, hope you've somehow all enjoyed this video and hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.